Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Julie's Orchids. For today's episode, I wanted to give a follow-up on the Tarot Stylus Curta. Um, there's not a lot of information on the old YouTubes or the internets on the care of these plants. And I received an email from a viewer um, over East that grows these, and he, and he gave me some helpful attempts and pointed out a few things. So. I'd like to spend today sort of discussing that email from my viewer, Daniel, and see that Daniel is absolutely correct. I'll talk about what I did wrong. Okay, to begin with, um, when Tarot Stylus Curta went into dormancy for me last year and all the leaves dried up, I stuck it in this corner right here, figuring it was, you know, cool, shady, dark area and it'd be a good place for it to go dormant. And it was, it worked quite well, and then the plant came out of dormancy, and I just left it sitting there. I don't know why it didn't dawn on me that a plant coming out of dormancy might appreciate quite a bit more light than that corner. Um, but once the plant really started growing, and I, I, for some reason, thought that it was growing its flower spike first, and then the foliage would come. But Daniel pointed a few things out to me. He's, in his email, and I'll put a copy of that here. And then we'll quickly discuss what I did. So after getting that email from Daniel, I moved Terra Stylus Curta from there to this shelf, but I had it setting flat on the bottom shelf as opposed to rised up on a upside down pot. And that did make a difference and I'm going to now move everything to a, a better viewing area and then we can discuss um, what I've done wrong and what I'm going to do correct next year. All right, so my viewer Daniel did mention that um, when I posted my last video that my tarot stylus curta was looking a bit leggy and as I mentioned I was unaware of its growth habit and I thought strangely that it might have been putting out its flower spike first and then would grow um, the leaves. That's not the case. Um, the case is this plant is extremely leggy. I left it sitting in its dormancy area far too long. Uh, this being a, an Australian plant needs a lot of light. Uh, so by the time I moved it to the higher light source, I'm afraid I didn't do it any good, but all of this <laughs> should be um, below soil level. So it's quite leggy. Um, so I moved it, as I mentioned earlier in the video, to a higher light area but lower down on the shelf um, and then started growing these two which aren't quite as tall as these other ones. And now we're starting to grow some more littler ones back here which to me are looking like their rosettes are going to form more appropriately to the soil level um, than these. Um, Daniel did mention that, well, these being leggy, it's good for the airflow, um, but then it's going to be difficult for the plants to support their flowers, so I'll possibly have to be doing some creative staking on these things. Not real sure just yet. Um, but again, a, a huge learning curve on this one, and I'm really thankful to my viewer, Daniel, for sending me the information. Um, Daniel, you, you suggested getting it about 50% shade. Um, I grow in my home. I don't grow the plants outdoors. Um, they grow in my house underneath lights. So um, I have high light areas and lower light areas and, you know, the areas that I put the plants that go dormant because it, they're, they're, you know, shady and cooler. Um, so definitely next year when this thing comes out of dormancy, it, it's immediately going to go under the bright lights. Um, and see if we can't avoid this happening <laughs> next year. So there you go, Terra Stylus Curta update. Um, when these come out of dormancy, give them light and lots of light and that their leaf rosettes should be formed at the soil level and they become quite leggy if you don't do it right. And I did not do it right. So. This year we're going to just write it out, Daniel suggested in his email, to just leave things as is, that it's too late in the season to repot them without dis disturbing the plants, 
and then he did give me a few tips and tricks on growing these. Um, looks like he's expecting that I'm growing outside um, in a shade house. I'm not. I grow indoors, so I'm going to still have to do some experimenting on getting these uh, growing within my home. Um, but I think this year, definitely, with the look of the plants here, I, I've learned quite a bit. And now I know lots of light, lots and lots of light for these guys. Um, and with that, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. A subscribe would be great. And Tarot Stylus Curta, when they come out of dormancy, give them lots of light. Everyone, you have a great day. Thank you.